Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this episode, I'm gonna show you, finally show you the latest purchase, the latest project car that I have acquired, which is the gray, light gray BMW 5 Series E34 520 with uh, once again M20 B20 engine, the same as the black one, and probably you are gonna ask why there are two of them why would i purchase the same one and the short answer is that this one is pretty much stock when i bought this thing i was way too frustrated because of the condition of the car and for once i said to myself okay i'm gonna buy another one that is little bit uh, better in every single way and it is kind of in better shape to begin the project since this thing is uh, so damaged i mean suspension wise and stuff the body on this one i believe it is little bit better from the one on this one i'm not exactly sure but i think so and a friend of mine asked me to buy the the black one and i decided that probably it's gonna be okay for me to buy another one and sell this one but once i bought the second one i thought why not keep them both and make some crazy stuff with one of them because i have some ideas on what i can change and add to the car i truly want one of them to be as close to the original as possible as I'm gonna do with the W124 Mercedes that I have so eventually I decided that it's gonna be okay for me to keep the both of them and for now I'm kind of behind with everything because of the money that I spent on buying all of the cars because these BMWs over here are only a part of the collection they are not all of the cars that I own so at the moment I'm gonna show you this car I'm not gonna make a big fuss about it you can tell by my voice that I'm not all that excited don't get me wrong the car is great you can tell by the looks of it it is in very nice condition at the moment compared to the other one it has some damage but the problem is not with the color itself that I'm not so overly excited it is with me because I'm kind of frustrated with myself and the choices that I've made so far at the moment I'm kind of I don't know probably a little bit worried what I'm gonna do next and stuff so I'm under so much pressure and I have so many worries at my mind at the moment so I'm sorry for that but still this doesn't change the fact that the car is very cool let me show you the obvious problems you can see over here there is a problem over here there is a significant problem on this mirror we have some problems on the rooftop there is a problem and over here there is a problem so in the inside we can tell that the upholstery is pretty much destroyed on the back seats and also the back bumper is so so the budge is kind of all over the place everything is cracking and peeling off so on this side what can I show you on this side? We have this on this fender over here as a damage. The paint job is okay compared to the other cars. I mean, over here I forgot to show you this on the fender. It is practically a giant hole, rusted hole. So yeah pretty much this is it on the outside i don't know if you can remember the condition on this one i'm gonna briefly mention it you can see the bumper and all of the other stuff but i have video dedicated to this car so feel free to check it out if you're interested in overall the condition of the car and stuff so 
The interior the differences between the two cars is that this was refurbished at some point. Pretty much the, this one is clean inside, nice dashboard and stuff. The other one is the same but I just want to show you how this one was changed at some point. And this one. Over here, this is peeling off and pretty much stuck inside, but in very very good condition as well. The dashboard and everything, this is the original dashboard, that is the petrol one, but on the different rooftop, this one doesn't have, this car doesn't have sunroof, this one has a sunroof, but this one is kind of dirty and needs replacing, repairing, cleaning and stuff. So at the back, I'm sorry, I have to unlock the, the door. At the back, the upholstery is peeling off, you can see over here there is piece missing and as I showed you from the back window you can see that over here the seats are okay but at the at the top they are damaged this one has the armrests on the front seat the other one doesn't have them i don't know why probably they have been removed or something or the car is like that i'm not sure but uh, Pretty much they are almost the same cars. The main difference and why I bought the greyish one, the light grey one, the one that is the main objective of this video. I'm gonna show you what was the reason. Okay guys, I have a problem. One of the, I don't know how this happened, one of the bolts of the, of the lid is missing. It was broken and apparently my brother has removed it, so it is very strange and awkward to lift the hood like this. So let me pop up the one on the block, BMW So I can be able to show you what am I most concerned about these cars and the reason to purchase a second one So I'm hoping that you're gonna be able to tell the difference between them this is the grey one let me show you how nice and tidy and clean looking is this car compared to everything is, is connected the right way everything is in place and nice looking and look at this one I think that this is like uh, everything is a mess over here, at least to me. Let me get on the other side so the sunlight it won't be in our way. You can tell that the car was modified and stuff have been done to it that I'm not completely agree with the way that this was done some stuff are missing actually the diffuser for the fan is in my possession I have it but I don't know why it's not on the car the car is not overheating anyway so the other difference that I can show you so this was the main reason the condition of the engine bay on this one is so much better and this is the reason that I wanted this car 
and for this one I have a lot of work ahead of me the condition on the suspension the suspension on this one is um, in very nice condition the brakes are in very nice condition the gearbox the clutch and all of it is okay the car is drivable this one in my opinion at the moment is not drivable you can try you can drive it but it is very sketchy in my opinion at least so this one is okay at least to me the only thing that i can point out is that the um, steering column on the boat cars needs a revising or replacing because these old uh, cars have this as an issue and what else i wanted to show you about these cars yes there is something that i need to mention what am i so disappointed about there is a thing that i didn't consider when i purchased these cars because i didn't made any research i was so excited about these BMWs I wanted to have one of them the interior is not my favorite when it comes to the dashboard and stuff but other than that the exterior of the car is uh, very unique and I like them very much but I just found out that the front shock absorber and the front hub are one whole piece the shock absorber is Kind of connected it is overflowing into the hub so it cannot be replaced there is the inside of the shock absorber that can be replaced but the shock absorber the body of the shock absorber itself it is one whole thing with the hub so this is something that i don't like that is frustrating me and i'm guessing that i'm gonna find so much more stuff like this thing that are annoying and difficult to work with so yeah this had to be mentioned basically uh, this is it when i start working on these cars i'm gonna show you more about them in detail i'm gonna talk about everything that bothers me and the things that i like but probably i'm hoping at least that you can tell that this one the the gray one is so much better than the black one at the moment i mean the stock condition when i bought them this looks kind of fresher to me and this was the reason that i bought this car but i decided as i mentioned to keep them keep the boat cars at the back i forgot to show you this one has been modified it because one of the one of the blinkers does not work properly you can tell with the duct tape but as you can imagine this is not fixing the problem so the tail lights need replacing over here you can see that this one is damaged and basically they need replacing on this one someone has already replaced them and the muffler on this one is different probably it's gonna be best if i start the car so you can hear them the engines are the same but they sound different the board cars and let me give them a crank and to hear them the way they work it is gonna be appropriate i think to show you the difference only one muffler how is gonna change the sound of the car at the moment i believe there is a big difference in the way they sound because i think that this this one the gray one is with the stock muffler and stuff I'm sorry that I rev it like this but she needs a bit of a notch to start because it dies immediately if I don't rev it and this works like this this one I mean I'm sorry It 
it is straight six petrol engine and I just noticed that the badge on this one is on the left side as for the badge on this one is on the right side there was something on the left as well probably the BMW logo I don't know but this is kind of strange I didn't notice this before so let's crank this one as well probably we'll see if the camera can pick up the difference in the way that the cars are working sorry for that something has I'm gonna rev it just for you to hear it I believe that this engine is a little bit quieter but it uh, kind of idles rough I don't know why at this point but definitely it works different I resemble this one working like a sports bike or something As for this one, it is pretty stuck, I think. So, let me turn them off. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this one one more time. So you can hear it better. It sounds nice, doesn't it? I believe that this has so much potential. The engine I mean. Because on the both cars it is the same engine as I mentioned. So pretty much this is it about these cars. Now I have two of these and two of the W124 Mercedes and in future i believe it is going to be interesting what i'm going to do with them at the moment i won't try to explain because i truly don't know and i don't think it matters at the moment of course but as i do it as i evolve with the projects i am going to try to talk about the design of the cars now I believe I'm gonna make a comparison between the two BMWs and the two 124s. Just I can't pass the opportunity to do that since the four cars are in the stock condition at the moment and because I need to compare these cars, they need to be compared because of the cars itself. I hope this was interesting for you guys and you're interested in what is gonna happen with them thank you so much for watching stay safe stay tuned and bye for now